<laughs> All right, uh, welcome. It is um, the Monday of week eight. Officially, it is October 7th. And um, yeah, we are now over past, past way past uh, a month. I only have a little bit of maybe like a month left uh, of days before I go back. And time has flown by. I am about to feed him. We uh, had a really good first nap, and then we went out and went to a story time, and went to the grocery store, and yeah, um, we're doing this while Lauren is actually in the room next door sleeping because she does not feel well. She feels a little under the weather, took a sick day. Um, one of the few she has left because she had to use the majority of her sick days to uh, give birth to Noah uh, and take leave uh, for just being a mom and giving birth. So that's ridiculous in itself that her sick days are drained that because of that. Um, but that's a whole other topic of conversation that as I'm learning about more and more, the more... Um, it makes me uh, mad, um, righteously angry, I think is how I'm going to describe it, that um, parents just aren't allowed to be parents. Anyways, ramble. Um, anyways, so we uh, are hanging out, um, doing our own thing while mom gets her rest and get her fluids. Um, and yeah, so we went to... Uh, story time at the park again because it's Monday. Uh, we went to the grocery store to pick up um, items for a chicken noodle soup that we're gonna make for dinner tonight for mom. And then yeah, he just woke up from the second nap. Very good. And um, we're about to eat. We uh, outside of the fact that Lauren is sick and we don't want to go too far away. Uh, we were in Charleston this past weekend mm -hmm. and. Noah didn't have the best time sleeping. Um, he had a lot of broken naps and didn't sleep well overnight. Um, I think just the chaos of traveling um, and having a quick trip to a destination and back took a toll on him. So uh, today and tomorrow and however long it takes, we're gonna be pretty strict on our naps and feed to um, get him back to a good spot again where he can sleep overnight because we know he can. We just had to be able to set him up to do so. <laughs> and he sees his reflection right now. And he's so interested. Um, anyways, that is it for me. Um, that is it for Noah. That is it for us today. Like I said, um, a pretty chill day. And yeah. Say bye, Noah. I'm not napping right now. I went to a bakery down the street, uh, a Colombian bakery, Manolo's. Manolo's. Um, everything's great. Highly recommend it. I haven't had anything yet, but I highly recommend it already. Yeah, you ready to go to bed, man? You should be sleeping right now. He's been crying a lot because he's not sleeping. Okay. All right, so he is not napping. It is around 10 o'clock. He should have been asleep uh, since nine. Um, probably a little bit on me because I had to go drop something off real quick. And that meant we were in the car and then he was getting drowsy in the car. And then um, when I tried to to take him out and then put him in the crib, uh, he just wasn't having it. So I don't know. As I said yesterday, uh, we're trying to just refix his uh, sleep schedule habits. So it might be par for the course. I'm not fully sure. Um, he did 
did well yesterday. Took all his naps. Uh, and then slept last night great all the way up until uh, he was supposed to. Uh, or he slept from bedtime to uh, our awake time. So don't know if I just messed up this sleep period, this napping period, or something else. But uh, usually he might be a little bit drowsy and he might be a little fussy, but obviously you saw he cried a lot and was fighting everything a lot. So I'm not fully sure. Um, We got snacks, and uh, I don't think I'm going to have much energy uh, to do anything else besides try to see if I can correct it. Um, hopefully he goes down in the car. I mean, I'm willing to drive for the next hour in circles if it means that he gets a little bit uh, of a nap in and we can salvage this. We'll see. All right, see you tomorrow. Peace. We did it, guys. Thank God I'm asleep. Hey, it is Wednesday of week eight. It's about right. It's October 9th, and uh, we just left. Smelly Cat Coffee Shop because that is where we live in the mornings. Um, however, this time was a little bit different. Uh, Mom got to join us because she's on a work day, so we just got in the car early so we can get coffee together and then um, head back out on the road, us home, her to work. Um, but I felt it was important to sh tell you about this excursion because, well, just watch this. Pretty much it's a baby in a really cute beanie. And uh, I know Lauren's gonna wanna see that later. So I just took video of it. Anyways, uh, later today we are going to tour the daycare center where Noah will be going to school. So it will be our first visit as a family to school together. And then, yeah, I don't know what else the adventure, the day, I don't know what else the day will take us. Um, pretty much, I'm pretty sure that it will be us going to, I'm pretty sure it'll be us going home and then me cleaning up because Lauren's mom is coming this week uh, on Friday to visit for the weekend. So I'm pretty sure it'll just be me cleaning up to prepare for another house guest. Uh, anyways, let's uh, see you later. Hey, uh, we are now on the road. Uh, Lauren actually came back uh, to drive together-ish. And um, I'm in my second, the second car uh, while she's driving Noah so she can get some extra Noah time in. Um, but yeah, now we're heading to uh, Noah's daycare, and we're very excited. We're just uh, going to meet with the director for a bit, and then, um, yeah, kind of see the facility, uh, seeing what they have to offer, and uh, we're very excited. Yes. All right, so we are uh, now at the daycare. We're waiting to meet with the director. Noah and Mom are hanging out over there and uh, trying to see if we can get a couple extra ounces in from the bottle. And yeah, um, I think this is where we're going to leave it. We're going to keep the meeting to ourselves. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll see us in a little bit later. Right, Noah? So, um, 
now we are done with the tour, uh, meeting with the director. Everything is awesome. Uh, we're very excited. I don't think we have said we're excited enough, right, bud? But we are. Um, we really do like this daycare. We really do like this daycare that we're gonna take Noah and that Noah will be attending. And um, yeah, my, I think, favorite attribute of it so far is that the infant room that Noah will be in is 30% diverse, um, which is good. Um, just wanting to make sure that uh, Noah has just um, that Noah can see uh, diversity in the world around him and that it's just not um, the same everywhere he goes. So I am very excited for that. Um, and in terms of the curriculum and everything uh, that will be handled on a day to day, uh, Lauren loves it and you can't really argue with that. So anyways, um, now we're heading home uh, to get in a nap. It is 12.30, he's supposed to go down at one. Um, uh, and yeah, um, I'm gonna do nothing else but let him sleep and clean up, start the cleanup of the house. So uh, thanks for tuning in for today. See you tomorrow, peace. Hey. Uh, it is the Thursday of week eight, and uh, we are heading to the gym. How do you feel? You ready? We haven't been in the Y in a while, so I'm ready to... Are you ready to go play? Okay, let's go. First, we gotta eat this guy's lunch time. Lunch? I think it's lunch. Anyways, we gotta eat first. And I feel like sitting out here is a little bit nicer than inside the gym. So the most interesting thing about Noah at this age right now is he's been rejecting the bottle. Where he'll take a couple of sips and then he'll decide he doesn't want it and he wants to do something else or he wants to look around or I don't even know. It's been an interesting couple of days because this kind of started around when we got back from Charleston and uh, has kind of persisted. So nighttime feedings uh, for bedtime have been very interesting because he needs to eat in order to get a good sleep, but he refuses to eat because he doesn't want a bottle. So that's fun. Things that you learn on paternity leave. All right, and uh, that was a fun, quick trip to the Y. Um, all the rest, I'm, and the rest of what I'm doing today is uh, cleaning up and getting prepared for uh, my mother-in-law to come into town. And all he's doing is napping and waiting for mom to get home. So this is the most eventful thing that we're going to be doing today. Uh, so with that said, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching me miss a lot of baskets. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the conclusion of week eight. All right, peace. Hey, welcome to Friday of week eight. It is the end of the week for us. Um, we've done nothing else today really besides uh, clean. And well, I've done nothing but clean. He's done nothing but nap pretty well today, as well as um, my parents came to visit. So you have to play with my parents for just a little bit. Um, and that was initially gonna be the full video. However, we got a delivery in the mail today. And if I am to think what this is, it's actually from my job from Queens to give a little package to celebrate my paternity leave with Noah, so I'm sure that there is 
a couple of presents. I'm hoping that there's um, some presents for Noah in here. So let's open it up and let's see what is in this box. You ready, Noah? It's your first unboxing. It's your first present. No, not your first present. Definitely your uh, first unboxing, though. Seems very excited. And we have some goodies in here. You ready? It's a nice onesie, Future Royal, for six to 12 months. Nice. It's probably a little big right now, so maybe it's more on the 12 month end. Nice, okay. Oh, and a t-shirt for me. Nice little Queens t-shirt. Nice. Or maybe it's just for Noah when he's really old and he becomes an actual royal. You pop it, make some noise. Uh, a nice little Queens mug for dad's coffee in the morning. And then a nice little tumbler. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> you can take this one. I'm gonna take that one. And then a Queens mug. Oh, does it have a lid? Yep. Ooh. The lid and everything, although it doesn't have a, a seal. Okay. But you could probably put one of our shawls in it. I'm gonna take that. Okay. That's for mom. This is a pretty good haul. Well, a onesie, a t-shirt, coffee mug, and uh, a tumbler. All from Queens, thanks. Thanks Queens. Thanks for letting me spend time with this guy and thanks for the gifts. Can you say thank you? Can you keep eating your toy as a way of saying thank you? Okay, that's good. All right, well, thanks for tuning in this week. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, for anyone that's still watching, thanks for uh, keeping up with me and my paternity leave with Noah, and uh, see you next week. Say bye. Bye.